Scripps Institution of Oceanography researchers are looking at climate change, and they're doing it inside this lab. Let me show you. This long glass chute allows researchers to bring the ocean into the lab by replicating waves, which out in the environment influence the atmosphere and the planet's climate. So this is a paddle that we have been uh, using to generate the waves. It's going back and forth, as you can see. Christopher Lee is the managing director of the Scripps-based Center for Aerosol Impacts on Chemistry of the Environment. The machine he's standing beside is pushing ocean water down a long, narrow channel. That action creates a steady flow of waves which roll toward a manufactured incline. The incline, an artificial beach, forces the waves to break and crash, pushing particles and gases into the air. It's that instrument just across on the other side of the channel. That's the instrument from Colorado State University. They're investigating the ice nucleating property of sea spare aerosols, basically meaning how sea spare aerosol being emitted, and they're sampling from right here, are forming ice nucleus, which have a climate property. Lee says ice nucleuses are rare, but when they do get created, they tend to encourage rainfall. Understanding them could help researchers better understand weather. All kinds of scientific instruments are clustered near the wave break. The research teams are working to understand as much as possible about what's happening in that water-filled chute. We have continuous measurements of the temperature, dissolved oxygen, um, carbon dioxide, and of course chlorophyll, which kind of monitors the biomass of these phytoplankton blooms that uh, we are inducing here in this channel. Adding microbes to the mix is a major change from the first run of experiments, which wrapped up last summer. That project aimed to isolate and measure just sea spray and particles. This whole system is understanding how humans versus nature are changing things. This run will allow atmospheric chemist it's Kim Prather like to account for many more influences, including algae blooms, pollution, and weather. We're building another channel, which will be here in about a year, that will have winds. And that's where the weather comes in. Prather, who's guiding the research at the facility, is explaining to a group of high school students why this project has such far-reaching implications. She says the ocean has some of the most significant impacts on the global climate, and researchers just don't understand exactly what's going on. The largest uncertainty in all of climate change is the interaction between that spray and the particles and how they form clouds. That's the thing we understand the least in the climate system. The wave machine allows researchers to figure out processes that they would otherwise have no way to understand. Prather says that broadens the reach and the impact of the work. We would just understand how the ocean as a whole influences the chemistry of our atmosphere. It's controlling that chemistry. It's interacting through reactions that some people have never even studied. We're looking at sort of how humans and Mother Nature, just the chemical reactions are completely changing. It's over, the ocean's over three quarters of the surface of the Earth. The knowledge gained over the next five years could help improve computer models that predict the planet's climate. Yeah, so we're isolating the ocean. Most climate models currently don't account for the ocean's influence. Any other questions? And sharing that scientific pursuit with high school students plants the seeds for the future. This is not research that's in any textbook that they read, right? And so they can come see what scientists get to do. They can come see the passion of the people that are working in that room trying to solve these problems. <laughs> Eleneum was part of the science camp touring the lab. She says the science being worked on here is an important baseline to document a changing climate. That it's not something that people are making up. And with science, it's helpful to try to find solutions for this problem that's continuously causing this planet obviously to warm and it's going to be affecting my generation as well as the rest of us for the rest of our lives. Neum says the push for understanding is encouraging. There's experiments left for your generation and your kids' generation. Eric Anderson, KPBS News.